Hey guys, so welcome back to this um, next video in our PySpark tutorial series over at Data with Dominic. Today we're going to be looking at how to modify an existing column in a data frame. Alright, or modify the values in an existing column in a data frame using PySpark and specifically the with column function in PySpark. So let's begin and dive into the demo. So just to uh, let you know what I've done so far, I've basically read a CSV file about some CD data to a data frame variable DF. I'm displaying the data frame so you can get an understanding of the data. It's just an ID, city, and a population uh, 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 a table, or data frame, I should say. And now what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can modify the data in this particular uh, data frame. So let's before that, let's just check our schemas to see Alright, so as you can see, we have a population as a saved as a string in this data frame. So what we can do maybe before beginning is just cast it to an integer. Oh, sorry, df dot population dot cost. All right, so now that we've cast it, let's see what the data type says. Yeah, so we've got it in this integer. So now we can start working on sort of modifying the data that's existing in that population column. So how we do that with the with column operator is we can just do a df dot with column and say we wanted to multiply all values by four, right? So what we do is we just specify in the first parameter the column name of the existing column that we want to modify. In this case, it was population. So we specify population there in double quotes since it's a string and then uh, the second parameter basically tells us what we want to do with the data existing in that column. So we can just specify the data in that column and then we say we want to multiply it by 4. So now when we run this, we can see that when we display df, yeah, you can see that the value has been changed but yeah maybe this doesn't make that much sense so instead what we can do is we can just say divide it by 10,000 and then run it now we display it again so now it makes sense right you can see that the numbers have actually been reduced all right so the next way we can modify data is by basically using uh, the lit function to just assign it a default value. All right. So how we do that is we just do a df is equal to df dot with column and then specify as the first parameter the name of the column that we want to modify and then do a comma and then we can use the list function and then suppose we want to specify everybody's population as 1000. We can run this. So it's lit. And now that lit has run, when we view the data frame, everybody's population should be 1000. As you can see, that works. But just uh, one housekeeping notice for you guys, it's that when we want to use lit, we do have to import the pyspark.sql.functions library. So just to show you that code, uh, I, I didn't have to do it here because I had uh, basically imported it previously using the same uh, cluster so it's sort of saved in my cluster for me but if you do want to use the lit function to assign a default value to every uh, uh, data item in a column you need to use this from pyspark.sql.function import star so that's what 
it's just throwing an error because I've already imported it, but yeah, and it's functions, but yeah, that's how you do it. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon, and we'll see you in the next one.